Hi all, uh, in this assignment, uh, we are going to see how to migrate an EC2 instance from one AWS region to another AWS region. So basically, we'll create one EC2 instance and then uh, we'll install some software so we can have an, like a web server installed. We'll see if it is accessible over the internet and then we will create an Amazon machine image from that EC2 instance. Uh, you can create AMI either of the running instance or stopped instance, but to be safe always create it from the stopped instance So that it's in a consistent state and then uh, as you know the scope of the AMI is region level So we would have to copy this AMI from one region to another region and once it is copied uh, We can launch another instance in the second region and then we'll see when we launch the instance it would already have the web server that you installed up and running. So this is what we want to do here. Uh, so let's get to the work. Okay, so I am into EC2 console in Mumbai region. So let's create one EC2 instance, standard Amazon Linux, T2 micro. I will keep all the options default with public subnet, storage default at tags. So this is my web server and I will have a security group in which I have SSH for my IP and I want to access the web server over HTTP and that I can keep for everybody IPv4 addresses. Preview and launch, launch and you give SSH key and an instance gets launched. Okay, so let me just pause this video for a couple of minutes till the instance is in running state. Okay, so instance is in running state, it's still initializing, but hopefully we should be able to connect. So I take a public IP and I will just connect over the putty. So put in public IP here, then I would just use my SSH key in order to authenticate. So I'm selecting my SSH key and just open it. As you know, the default user is EC2 user. And now I'm into the EC2 instance. I need to just install the web server. So as you know, we need to have installed HTTPD server. Yes. Then I just need to start the HTTPD server. So sudo service HTTPD start. And then I need to create a simple index.html file so that I can put my content there sudo vi where www html index.html and I can write any html content here this is my web server slash just save it now if I access this web server over the internet I should be able to See this page okay that's means it's running fine so we have this ec2 instance running what next we want to do is uh, we want to create an ami so this ami would have this ec2 instance up and running one thing to notice is we just installed the web server and we started the httpd service here but we haven't configured the httpd server service to be automatically come up when the instance starts so we would need to do that settings so for that we will go to the, our console uh, and we will run this command sudo chk config http on what this makes is it adds the service to the boot up sequence okay with that we are uh, ready to create an ami for this uh, we come here and uh, now we can create an ami of the running ec2 instance but ideal is to stop that so that we get an ami in consistent state so I'm just going there and just stopping this instance. While it is stopping, I'll pause this video again. Okay, as you can see, this instance is stopped. The next action is to just go here and go to the images and say create image. You can give any name, say web server and the image description web server in Mumbai region. And rest of the things you can keep as default. We are just going to have a root volume into this image, say create image. So image creation is pending. So typically it takes around five to 10 minutes for this image to be created. You can go 
to the AMI page and you can see owned by me or under private images uh, your image will be uh, getting created so I'm pausing this video till this image is available okay as you can see uh, the AMI is created here now as you know this AMI is in Mumbai region and uh, the scope of AMI is regional so in order for this uh, AMI to be available in uh, say any other region say North Virginia that is US East one region you would have to copy this AMI so go here copy AMI here you would have to select the region so I'll select say North Virginia name web server and it automatically populate this text <coughs> that is okay then copy AMI so this AMI copy will again take some time uh, at least a 10 minutes because it actually transfers your data from this region to that region and uh, you can go here change your region to North Virginia and you should see an AMI creation is in progress so I'll just stop video here again for a couple of minutes till this AMI is available okay as you see the image is uh, available in uh, North Virginia region so it may take around 10 to 15 minutes sometime because it actually moves data from Mumbai region to US region and if you do the migration from say to US regions probably it should be faster so once you have this AMI you can directly launch EC2 instance using this AMI just say launch and uh, you will see the same th settings it's a normal flow of launching EC2 machine add storage add tags so I am adding the tag say web server and uh, security group uh, as you know this machine should already have everything installed and configured so I do not need a, uh, SSH at the moment I just need HTTP port 80 to make sure I can uh, connect to this over a browser review and launch launch select your SSH key and launch in the instance so this instance is being launched from custom AMI that we have built so uh, let, let me pause this video for a couple of uh, seconds and then we'll see if we can connect to this machine okay you can see instance is in running state uh, so I'll just capture its public IP and we'll try to hit this public IP and if it is, has been initialized you can see this message so that means we haven't done anything because we had httpd server already installed and we had put uh, httpd service to be started on uh, instance boot up uh, through chk config command uh, we see that we don't need to do anything here so that was the assignment where we created a custom ami and then migrated copied that ami from one region to another and launched an ec2 machine in another region uh, so if you are done with this uh, that's it uh, just don't forget to uh, terminate your EC2 machines and delete the AMIs as well because you are being charged for the uh, Amazon machine image uh, but that charge is for the S3 storage because as you know AMIs are stored in S3 so just let's do that uh, so terminate this instance and uh, go to the AMIs and then you would have to deregister this AMI the same thing you would have to do for Mumbai region so I'm going to Mumbai region and uh, I will deregister this AMI and at the same time I will also terminate my EC2 instance Okay, so that's it for this uh, assignment. Good luck. Thank you.